it guys? Today we're going to be talking about probably a less targeted species but something that's a hell of a lot of fun especially on your light tackle. We're talking about a crocodile needlefish. Oh, they also call them garfish. Um, here in Durban we call them long toms. But across I think in the Bahamas they're known as houndfish as well. Very very similar species. Uh, scientific name Tylosaurus crocodilus which is a nice easy one you know where that's all coming from. It's a fairly long and thin, thin fish, um, very long, elongated. The snout itself is very, very sharp and pointed, um, spread out over thing, and they, it's filled, filled, filled with, with needle teeth. Um, that's that, those needle teeth themselves are designed for grabbing their prey, they feed on fish, so the sharp little needles are allow them to, to grab and grip hold of their fish, so it doesn't, doesn't slip out. They're not trying to slice them in half or anything, they're trying to grab them and then swallow them. Overall, color-wise, you've got a sort of a bluey, greeny top with a silver underbelly, and that helps them blend in because they like to sit quite close to the surface. That greeny color matches in with the surface air interface, and then the silver underneath sort of blends in with the light coming through. So, actually, very difficult to see if you're diving when they're coming along. Overall, a chunky body. They've got fairly large fins, a large tail. Um, no real distinctive markings on them, sometimes a bit of barring on the fins and things like that, but overall the, the large body shape with that thin nose kind of uh, sort of it's a distinguishing, distinguishing trait. Size-wise they get to about 86 plus centimeters, that's, that's sort of the average, well, that's sort of the recorded maximum. And um, what, they, what an interesting thing about them is they are very attracted to light, so they have been known to jump onto boats and things like that at night and people have been injured because of those very sharp teeth. They've got a fish jumping, flapping around on the boat, it's much like a walla walla, it's just not a, not a good place to be. Now, catching wise, you're going to get them, they're more of a, a pelagic sort of surface feeder and they're generally solitary or in small groups, like up to about five or so. They really, really good at hunting. They, they're very, very good predators, they've got very large eyes. In terms of your prey species, small little shrimps, your um, any small fish, things like that, they, they're very good at hunting those. With that large eye, they, they, they're good at spotting the movement. They are probably best targeted with your sort of small lures, so little uh, surface divers that are going to be just under the surface, poppers, plugs, small spoons, flies, uh, anything that you can fish on light tackle is going to be very, very good for them. If you are going to go the bait route, small live baits, so little mozzies possibly, um, but more likely a fillet bait while you're fishing for snook and stuff like that is where you're going to get them. So, I mean, as bycatch from that snook side, you're going to get your wolf fairings, uh, otherwise known as silkies. Occasionally you get a walla walla, shad, kuta, and then got these long toms as well, often jump onto, onto that fillet bait. Remember with the teeth, you are going to need wire. They're not cutting teeth, but they will go through, through nylon. Um, if they just catch it at the wrong angle. Uh, what else we got? Interesting fact about them, the eggs actually have very long filaments on them. They, they, they're kind of sticky and they'll produce these eggs and they'll float along in the current and they'll attach to any of your uh, flotsam or debris floating in the, in the water. And they get attached there, once they hatch, they, then the juveniles are going to hang around there and they'll feed on all the little fish and the shrimp and stuff in that area. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They're often preyed upon by your larger pelagics and stuff like that. Um, you'll see them jumping out the water when you get a sailie or marlin or something coming through. They, you'll see them flying around. Good job. The long tom. Uh, very nice fish on the light tackle and something definitely on the species list. Cheers guys.